Hello, this is astrology coach Sonia Francis and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming new moon in 14 degrees of Leo on August 6 at 5.51 p.m. East Coast time in the U.S., which is also New York time, or 2.51 p.m. West Coast time in the U.S., which is L.A. time. Now, the new moon is always the beginning of a new moon cycle and it's a time where we really want to just go within and just quieten our mind a little bit and tap into our heart, into our intuition, just to see what are the energies that we need to tap into for this lunar month. Now, with the new moon being in Leo, of course, it is there is a general feeling that we want to tap into the Leo energies more fully. And the Leo energies are all about our heart space, our joy, our inner child, our self-expression, our confidence, our center, uh, and also our creativity. It's how we're creating in the world. Now, Leo is very fun-loving. It's, it's very much about needing... Uh, attention, needing to be seen in the world. It's also about being very caring and warm and 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 open. And it's it's a very energetic energy. It's about taking actions. It's about being uh, alive in the world. Now, these are all the things that this new moon wants us to tap into. But this new moon, there's some complex other energies that are connected to this new moon. And one of them is that the new moon is making a square to the moon nodes in the skies right now. And that means that in regards to our soul's journey, we're needing to make some adjustments. We're needing to make some changes. We're getting to see where something needs to happen, where we need to... Um, maybe tap into our heart a little bit more so that we can see where we need to change what we need to do for our soul's journey right now for our, for our long-term path. Um, and the other thing with this new moon is that there is, uh, just like with the last full moon that happened in Aquarius on July 22nd, there is two two grand trines in the skies as well as one T-square. Uh, and this is still intact with this new moon as well. But this time, the T-square and the Grand Trines, they're connected by Jupiter rather than a Jupiter-Mars conjunction. So that Jupiter energy is very prominent in this new moon energy. And so what we're really needing to look at here is... Uh, is particular with the T-square, you know, where do we need to make changes? Where do we feel sort of a stress factor in our lives? And uh, Jupiter in Cancer is saying to us, we need to really connect to our inner feminine energies more deeply. We need to connect to the yin energies more deeply. We need to really find that inner balance of being nurtured, nurturing ourselves and being there for others and nurturing others. So giving and receiving is that balance. And we talked about that a little bit already uh, in our last video and also in the video that is about Jupiter in Cancer for the next year, right? So if any of you have watched those videos, you know what I'm talking about. If not, please feel free to check into these videos as well. Uh, but this T-square for this new moon, basically the stress factor is on the Uranus uh, energy in Aries, which is all about us needing to break away from old ways of being and doing things and really needing to connect more fully with our individuality and how we want to do things in life and who we want to be in this world. And so the, there's sort of a stress factor around that right now. Um, and so the, the resolution that we're needing to find has to do with tapping more fully into the area of our lives that is connected to the Libra energy. So wherever in your natal chart you have 9 to 14 degrees of Libra, that's the place where you're really finding resolution right now, where you're finding peace right now, and where you're able to also tap more fully into how you can evolve and how you can make changes in a progressive way. So check to see in your own natal chart where that is taking place and this will give you a lot of information. Now if you don't, uh, if you need some support, if you need some help with that, please feel free to reach out to me as well and I will help you with that through a mini reading or through just uh, helping you understand a little bit more fully where that is taking place in your chart. Now, um, 
this particular T-square is very important this month because it involves Pluto, Uranus and Jupiter. And so it's bringing up a lot of stuff around our uh, conditioning, our childhood conditioning, anything that's to do has to do with how we've seen how we've been seeing our own uh, um, our own place in the world in terms of our inner feelings our feeling state our relationships to family um, uh, our relationship to our home how we live where we live uh, but also our relationship to food and how we care for ourselves is very important in this T-square. And so we're really being invited to transform and, and really look at some of these old patterns uh, that uh, have been put into place uh, through conditioning, through our upbringing. And uh, any time that we're suppressing or that we're ignoring these messages that are coming up in terms of our feelings or in terms of things that are just being put in front of us uh, through uh, relationships or through uh, things from through just an inner experience that we're having this month, the moment we suppress or we ignore that, we're, we're taking the chance that some of that will blow up in our faces. So it's really important right now that we're really embracing all these things that are coming up right now because whatever is coming up right now is there to come up to be released or to be dealt with or to be looked at so we can change our minds about how we feel about all these things and how we can approach them in a new way. So um, very important also with this placement is that we're, we're also trying to revolutionize our way of being in the world with our feelings the way we we're, we're wanting to connect to family but also to the human family because with the jupiter neptune uh trine that is in the skies right now as well you know there is a sense that is not just uh, about our upbringing with our families with our um, with our birth families or with the people that have raised us, but it's also about connecting to the human family, to the people that are in our lives on a global level, on a, you know, in a, in a larger sense. So uh, the T-squares that, uh, that uh, are connected to Pluto, Uranus and Jupiter right now, those are going to be exact three times until the next next May of 2014 because these planets move very slowly. So there's going to be a back and forth and we're going to experience this three times within the next, um, you know, uh, six to nine months. So basically what that means is that we're needing each time this T-square becomes exact, we're getting another chance to really uh, look at what are these childhood conditionings that need to uh, gain a different perspective, that need to be looked at, that need to be embraced, and how we can work with them in a different light, in a different way. And this will also help us to, to gain a greater fulfillment in our relationships with other people, whether it's with our, uh, with our actual family relations or whether it's with people that we live with or whether it's with the human family, with, with, the, with the larger sense of family that we're experiencing in the world. Now, questions that you can ask yourself for this new moon is how can I tap more into my joy, into my inner spark? But also you can ask yourself, you know, what is it that I would want to change in the world? If, I, if there's one thing I could change right now, what is it that I would want to change for myself? And really ask your heart rather than your head about that. It's really a question for the heart, right? Now, uh, there's another thing that's happening on August 11th of this month, which will be that the sun is going to make a square to the solar eclipse that took place on May 9th of this year. And this, again, is a we will have insights that will come to us. We will make further developments in our soul's journey and in what we need to uh, go after right now. And maybe there's some things we need to let go of at this time. So there's going to be some things that will happen to us. So pay attention on August 11th, what is occurring for you, where you need to make changes or, or, or new developments in your life in regards to that last solar eclipse. Now, uh, if you have 12 to 16 degrees of personal planets or personal points in Leo, uh, Aquarius, Taurus, 
or Scorpio, then this new moon is definitely going to be more potent for you and you're going to feel all this and all these energies more fully. But all of us are going to feel it somewhere in our chart. Uh, so there's definitely a sense that we all need to really move towards a sense of tapping more fully into our heart energy, uh, really embody that spark inside of us, really own that spark inside of us, um, and really be grateful for what we've learned so far in our lives uh, that has uh, brought us to the place where we are now of, of really knowing who we are and really knowing how we can express ourselves more fully and not to be afraid to really shine our light and not to be afraid to open our heart and to tap into that inner child energy, right? So really one last message I would say for this new moon would be that, you know, change your mind about what it means to care for yourself, what it means to care for other people, what it means to care for the world and for this planet, and how you can shine your light more brightly. Really, how you can tap into that hard energy more fully and really be open. You know, open your mind, open your heart. Um, of course, this is always a good advice for, for any time of the year, right? But in this particular lunar cycle, it's it's very it's a very beautiful thing that we can do for ourselves. Now, uh, the new moon is also a great time to set intentions. So feel free to set intentions. Um, the best time at this time around to set intentions is after the moon void, of course, that takes place uh, right after the new moon becomes exact. So anytime on August 7th at 11.57 p.m. New York time until August 8th, uh, in the afternoon at 5.51 p.m. New York time. If you live in a different time zone uh, than I do, then please feel free to go to the website, uh, to the internet, and uh, check out the time zone converter. And you can plug in the New York times that I just gave you uh, and and then convert them to your own time zone. And this is a very powerful tool that, it that I would advise you to use uh, whenever I give you New York times uh, in my videos or also when I you know, list them in my weekly blog that is available on my website every Sunday night. So if you, uh, if you have uh, issues with time zone, then go to that time zone converter. They're very, very useful tools to have at your hand, at your disposal. Uh, if you have any other questions about this full moon, if you need to know, um, you know, uh, how to fully access this new moon energy, feel free to read out, reach out for a mini reading, uh, reach out via email or via my website. Um, my email is sonia at astrologercoach.com. That's S-O-N-J-A at astrologercoach.com. Uh, and if you really love astrology and you want to learn a little bit more about astrology so you can learn about your own birth chart or your, your own day-to-day -day, uh, usage of how you can use this tool more fully in connection to your birth chart, please, please feel free to check out my, my astrology courses. I teach uh, what I call soul-based astrology courses. And I just finished a basics course two weeks ago, which is now available uh, as an audio video recording on my website. Uh, so if you purchase that, you can uh, watch that and listen to that as often as you want to. It teaches you all the basics of soul-based astrology. And I have a new course that's coming up on August 24th, which is called Beyond the Basics. So you can tap more deeply into your soul's journey with that course and understand your soul's journey more fully with the outer planets and the moon nodes. So if you're interested in that, curious about that, please feel free to ask me questions or, or go to my website at astrologercoach.com slash online dash courses dot html. And I will also have a link to that, uh, uh, to that website, to that link uh, below this video. So you can just click on that link. All right. So have a fantastic new moon. Keep opening your heart. Keep opening your mind. Uh, keep tapping into uh, this, uh, this area of your life where you can change how you think about your own childhood conditioning, how, what you believe about what, me, what it means to feel and to tap into uh, nurturing yourself, nurturing others. All that good stuff, uh, it's very essential in this month for us to learn it because we're going to build on that as we go on with, with uh, how, the, how, the, how the planets evolve towards the end of the year. All right, so have a good one. This is Astrologer Coach Sonia Francis. Goodbye.